Okay, today we're going to learn how to make a multiple language site <clears throat> in Drupal that allows the user to select a language and then they get a different menu depending on what they selected. So this is an out-of-the-box installation of Drupal 7.10. Modules. Let's enable two modules. The first one is the content translation module and the second one is locale. There are four other modules that I'm going to enable in a second, uh, but for right now we're going to just do these two. We'll save. I know what that error is, so I'm just going to refresh. Okay, so our two modules are installed. We'll close that. The next thing we need to do is enable uh, other languages besides English. So click Configuration and go down to Regional and Language Settings and to Languages. You see we have one language installed. We're going to add a language. We'll add Spanish. So language name, let's find Spanish. Great add language. You can also add custom languages here. Okay, so we've got English and Spanish. Now, the other setting we need to set is the detection and selection settings. This is telling uh, Drupal how it should be looking for the selection that a user makes. So, um, I'm going to choose the URL path prefix for mine because basically what that means is it's going to say domain.com slash es for Spanish or domain.com slash de for German. Uh, you could do also with this, you could do es.domain.com. Obviously, check all these out. There's a bunch of different options. You can enable them all. Uh, right now, I'm just going to use this one. So save settings, close. Now what we need to do is enable our content type to be translatable. So go to structure and let's check out our content types. I'm just going to edit the default content type of basic page. So let's edit this content type. And if you go down to publishing options, uh, you'll see multilingual support here. Publishing options, multilingual support, enabled with translation is what you should be selecting. And that's going to enable you to, once you create a post in English or whatever your default language is, you can then translate it. So we'll save this content type. And let's close this. And let's make a post. So let's add some content. So I'm going to add a page. And this is going to be... Um, a menu page for a restaurant. So we'll call this restaurant menu. Okay, now the important part here is to select this language as English, not just language neutral, so that it shows up whenever English is selected as part of the site. And there's two things I'm going to set for each, each translation of this node, a menu link and the URL path. So the menu link, I'm going to call it restaurant menu, that's fine. And then the URL path, I'm going to set to menu. And I'm going to set this to menu on both the English version and the Spanish version, as you'll see. And it doesn't throw an error because we've got the multiple uh, language module enabled. So let's go to translate. We've got this restaurant menu in English right here. Let's go to restaurant menu translate. This translate tab should be there now. And this will tell you um, what translations you already have. And you can see in Spanish, it has not been translated. So I'm going to add a translation. Okay, so by default it gives you the English version. I'm going to change this to El Menu Restaurante, if that's how you say that in Spanish, and this is El Menu in Spanish. Great. Um, it's got Spanish by default here because it knows you're translating in Spanish. The same thing, we're going to provide a menu link, except this time I'm going to give it, um, I'm just going to call it El Menu. It's the Spanish link for this. Uh, the URL path, I'm going to call this Menu as well. You could give different URL paths here, but I think it's kind of nice to have them with the same uh, URL alias for menu, and then depending on where it is in the domain, slash ES or slash EN, um, you'll be able to tell what page you're on. So let's save that. And now you see we've got a menu restaurante, and if you look over here in the bottom right, we can switch to the English version, Espanol, switch to the Spanish version, and it switches on these menus up here. Now what we're going to need to do now is go and alter this menu so that it only shows up whenever I'm in the English section. Um, and one more thing I'm going to add, I'm going to add a selector for the uh, header right here so that people know which language they, which language options they have. So we're going to do two things. First we're going to find the block for language switching. So it's down here, language switcher user interface text. So I'm going to put this in the header of my theme. Right now I'm just using, again, out of the box Bartik theme. Save block. You can close this. 
And so there's up in the top of my, my page, I've got English and Espanol. So if I switch to Espanol, switch to English, you can see that it's showing, since I've got the same URL here, menu, up at the top, whenever I switch to Espanol, it adds in the ES. Whenever I switch to English, it takes away the ES. Now what we need to do is change the menu so that it only shows the Spanish options for Espanol and the English options for the English. So we're going to go to Structure again and Menus. And we're going to enable um, the menu to be translatable. And before we do that actually, we need to install a couple more modules. So close that. Um, I'm going to show you, this is my installation of Drupal, again, out of the box. Um, we'll go to Sites, All modules and I'm gonna drop in four modules. You only need two of these but um, I'm gonna drop in four ones. Uh, we've got internationalization here, uh, language icons that's gonna put in the flags, translation overview is kind of a nicer view of telling you what what uh, content you have translated or not and then variable and variable is needed by internationalization. So once you drop those four modules in let's go enable them. Modules They'll be right at the bottom. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, enable translation overview, language icons, so I can have the nice flags, and internationalization. I'm also going to enable the menu translation here and the multilingual content. Play around with everything else if you want. It does a lot of stuff, but um, and it's going to automatically enable or ask me to enable the variable module as well. So continue. Okay, great. That's enabled. Now let's go to Structure, um, Menus. Now we're going to add the translation ability to this main menu here. So we're going to, first let's list our links. Let's put the order right. As you can see, for some reason, Home is in the middle, so I'm going to drag Home up to the top and put L menu and then Restaurant menu. And if I had more links, I'd put them all down here. So you can see both the Spanish version and the English version show up on the menu. Let's save that. And we're going to go back to Edit the Menu and we've got multilingual options here. The option I use is translate and localize. This means you've got all of your links in the same menu um, and it'll just switch It'll switch because it knows whenever you've put El Menu up there, it knows that that's going to a Spanish node or to a Spanish piece of content and when you've got restaurant menu up there, it knows it's going to an English content. Or you could do a fixed language menu so that you switch it based on you know all your English items are in one menu, all your Spanish are in another. But for this case, we're going to use Translate and Localize. Save, and you're going to notice the difference, I think, right away. We'll close this, and let's go home, and we'll click on English. Nope, Espanol. Nope, okay, something's wrong, let's figure it out. Okay, what we're going to do is just go in and edit these menus, and or edit these pages, and hit Save again, and see if that does it. There we go, okay. So we're in the English section, and you see just the English menu. We click Spanish, and you see just the Spanish menu. So there we go. You click English. Again, it's going to switch us back to the English mode. And Home, you can tell this page uh, actually isn't language specific, so it shows up on the menu for both. So there it is. There you have it. And uh, you can see we've got these little flags here. There's a few languages missing, like Korean doesn't have a flag. But um, that's how you set up a multi-language site.